Moving over, we have the N95s. So here is a 3M Aura, the mask that I'm wearing right now. This is a very comfortable respirator. Switching over to a soft shell design like this Aura, I found to be more comfortable for me personally. Um, but the so the CDC has now brought more attention to the fact that certain masks are more protective than other masks. So high filtration masks, uh, including N95 respirators, KN95 and KF94, um, provide better protection than cloth masks or even surgical masks. And so they are encouraging that if people are able to uh, use higher filtration masks that they should do so right now with the Omicron variant. And some of these are very thin and, and very comfortable, but remember they all have the two head straps from the back. So the previous guidance was to wear whatever mask uh, you can. Uh, that was initially in the early stage of the pandemic. Then it was upgraded to say you should wear multi-layered cloth masks. Um, and there were, at that time, there was still a perceived supply issue in terms of medical grade masks, uh, like surgical masks and N95 respirators. Uh, CDC has made it clear now that there is not a shortage of N95 respirators, similar to this blue one that you often see around. But these are still better than cloth masks. If you use a cloth mask, these masks are nowhere near as good as your N95 respirators. These been, has been tested in the laboratory you know, cloth masks may look and feel good, but we're here for protection. And these masks provide much better protection, the N95s. So the CDC recommends that you should upgrade your masks, especially in areas that have a higher risk of spread. So indoor crowded places particularly. And this is especially important for people who are at higher risk of disease um, from COVID-19. So people that have other medical conditions, people that are of older age, people that are on immuno, uh, or who are immunocompromised. And then you've got your filtration layer here. So this is electrostatically charged, uh, melt-blown polypropylene. As you can see, there's many layers here, right? So unlike your cloth masks. And you wanna make sure that when you put it on, you have the two head straps from the back. So one of the head straps goes around the top uh, of the head near the crown. The other one goes underneath your ears uh, near the back of your neck and you wanna make sure it feels nice and snug. Then what you do is you wanna press in around the nose here so that you tighten it. Most of these have a moldable um, band near the nose. And then you wanna, that is not ideal because you can still expose people around you. But with that said, the CDC has actually looked into this and that, but remember CDC has actually studied this and found that even with the valved N95 respirators, you still have less exhalation out than the amount that you get from surgical or cloth masks out of the side. Um, I would still say that if you can opt for a non-valved N95, that will be preferable. Sorry, right, it's very lightweight, as you can see, but it fits nice and well, and you're really breathing through the mask when you have it on. These masks here are the high filtration respirators. These are still better than cloth, but I would, I would, I would encourage people to get these. 